I'm Dr. John Gelke, and I'm an ethics researcher. This is a video to explain computer-assisted diagnosis and safeguards to patient data. It's possible to diagnose a number of diseases, including breast, colon, and prostate cancer, by looking at images of human tissue under the microscope. The tissue might come from a biopsy or some other procedure. Over time, medical researchers have amassed a large collection of images of human tissue, found ways of looking at magnified images in high detail with specialized digital scanners. Using these detailed pictures, whole slide images, pathologists make markings or annotations on the images to identify features in the tissue indicating a possible cancer. Computers are now being used to classify tissue samples for the presence of cancer by means of features captured by annotated images. This is done by using thousands of annotated images, enabling a computer to pick up cancer-associated patterns that distinguish normal from abnormal tissue with the same accuracy as human pathologists. Computer-assisted diagnosis is a way of using a computer to classify patterns that indicate different kinds of cancer and cancer in general. Computers can also identify patterns that indicate how long people can survive different cancers and how advanced cancers are. If a doctor suggests making use of a computer-assisted diagnosis to look for a possible cancer, that means they are suggesting taking a tissue sample to make an image, which will then be inputted to a computer system which classifies tissue on the basis of patterns found in thousands of images. Think of the way cameras can now detect faces. Computer programs can recognize different shapes and patterns in photographs, whether it's the letters and numbers on a number plate, a face in a crowd, or in the case of computer-assisted diagnostics, the signs of a possible tumor in the tissue. Computers can recognize the patterns they make. Identifying the patterns relevant to cancer builds on human expertise because it's the annotations made by human pathologists that the computer's relying on. To make a program that can recognize specific indicators of cancer, researchers need a lot of data. A data lake is a huge collection of data such as the whole slide images I mentioned earlier. I've been doing my ethics research as part of a government-funded project called PathLake, which is assembling a data lake that researchers can use to make these programs. The markings pathologists make on thousands of these images when they see something unusual are used to make a computer program that can distinguish between normal and abnormal tissue, automatically and at high speed. To give you an idea of the size of the collection, so far the data lake being developed in the PathLake project has more than 50,000 whole slide images. The more whole slide images are added, the more accurate the classifications can be. All data added to the PathLake data lake is de-identified. This means it's labelled in such a way as to conceal all connections with any identifying information about the donor. So if your data is in the lake, it would be very difficult for anyone to ever link it with you. Furthermore, access to the data lake is controlled. Medical researchers are allowed access to the data, and so are data scientists, including commercial data scientists, if they are able to demonstrate how their proposed research will benefit patients. There is a formal process for making this request to an access committee of PathLake which has patient representatives and ethics experts on it to assess claims of patient benefit. So patient data is protected in two ways. At the stage it is collected from one of the NHS institutes that are participants in PathLake, it is de-identified. These participating institutes include University Hospitals Coventry and Warwickshire, Oxford University Hospitals and Nottingham University Hospitals. And when researchers apply to have access to it, there is a formal process for demonstrating a genuine medical benefit. So in summary, uh, computer-assisted diagnosis is a way of using a computer to look at a tissue sample and look for patterns that indicate cancer. Making a computer program that can classify tissue as normal or abnormal needs lots and lots of data in the form of whole slide images of human tissue. PathLake is building such a collection for use by researchers making the programs for computer-assisted diagnosis. This patient data is anonymized and access to the data lake restricted to researchers able to demonstrate a benefit to patients.